Jonah Ballo here for Knicks.com. A big trade goes down in Memphis, and Knicks bring up Langston Galloway from the D-League before facing off against the Hornets and signing some new players to the roster. Don't miss a second of the action right here on Knicks All Access Weekly. The Memphis Grizzlies return home after a two-game Western road trip to take on the New York Knicks. The Knicks have lost 11 straight ball games, and they're in the process, reportedly, of making a big trade. Just moments before tip-off in Memphis, the Knicks completed a significant trade. It's a three-team trade, Cleveland, OKC, and the Knicks. New York sent J.R. Smith and Iman Shumpert to Cleveland and waved Samuel Dallenberg. I spoke to each of them before the game, and I told them how much I and we appreciate uh, you know the efforts made in in this transition process. I think that was my real uh, my first real NBA moment. They showed me and taught me a lot of things, and uh, you know it was just tough. They were my veterans. Me and Jay always was rocking with each other, you know, since Denver days, and like I said, almost 10 years. So the, them guys will be missed, you know, especially by me. I think each move, you know, still uh, symbolizes what we need to do in order to try and get better as we build this. The shorthanded orange and blue managed to remain close in the first half at the grindhouse, while Jose Calderon posted 10 points and hit both shots from long distance heading into the break. We're going to try to go out there and compete every night, that's for sure. And, uh, you know, it doesn't matter who gets on the court. Uh, we are, you know, as NBA players, we just got to go out there every night and, and try to do your best. Quincy AC found a spot on the highlight reel and registered a team high 19 points and 14 boards. But the Grizzlies were too much in Memphis in a 105-83 victory over the Knicks. I thought the guys there were still here in the building. You know, they came out to compete to try and win. And Memphis was the better team. It was a tough one uh, after back-to-back -back and arriving here late and all the things going on. But this is our team right now. We just got to keep working and staying together and keep playing basketball. Back in the East and with the chance to add a player after waving three, the Knicks brought up a familiar face from the Westchester Knicks. The latest call-up, it's Langston Galloway. He's a rookie guard from St. Joe's, 23 years old. Langston Galloway, who impressed during Knicks' summer league, received the call-up and was thrust right into action on Wednesday night against the Wizards. I'm definitely nervous, but uh, at the same time, I was excited and uh, this was ready to play. We'll have nine, ten guys and... Uh, we're going to come out here still with, with the mindset of trying to win. Tonight, the Wiz look for their 15th win in 19 games at the phone booth, taking on Quincy AC and the New York Knicks. Facing an 18-point deficit late in the third, the young Knicks race back in the game on an impressive 21-8 run to knock the home team's lead down to just five with six minutes to go. The team that was in there in the fourth quarter, we, we cut the lead down. We were uh, getting stops and we was making buckets. When we got down uh, at the end of the first quarter, we could have just let it go and called it a night, but we kept on fighting. Jose Calderon hit 50% from the floor, 40 from behind the arc. On the other side, John Wall scored 18 to help Washington secure a 101-91 victory. For good tonight, get ready for tomorrow. Uh, get all these young guys to, to learn the game as soon as possible and, and, uh, and be a you know, great basketball players and uh, work hard. That, that's, that's all we got to do. Back at MSG, where the Houston Rockets armed with a new acquisition, Josh Smith and Dwight Howard back in the lineup made their lone trip to the Garden this season to face the Knicks. Hopefully our group can can rally together, figure out a way to play against one of the best teams in the league. I don't envy Cole tonight, but I think Cole will be up to the challenge. Only trailing by five after one quarter of action, the Knicks faced a difficult challenge with James Harden finding the scoring touch with 17 of his 25 in the first half. That is a skilled marksman as he comes up with the steal. On the bright side, Langston Galloway in his Garden debut rocked the rim in front of the home crowd and route to a 19-point night. And Travis Ware jumped off the pine to lead the Knicks in scoring with 21. I just was trying to take advantage of my opportunity and just go out there and have fun and, and just do what I've been doing for my whole career. I have an extra time with these guys, you know, in the summertime. It definitely helps the transition coming in here because I know what they're looking for. Uh, they know where I'm going to be and, uh, you know, that definitely helps a lot. Houston top New York 120-96 on Friday night. They have experience. I mean, we, we're all young, so, so it'll come in time. We're just going to 
keep keep building and uh, keep going through the struggle together. The Knicks' short-term plan has changed. Instead of trying to be competitive and go for the playoffs, it's about developing players. The Knicks brought in some new faces on 10-day contracts by inking Lewis Amundsen and Lance Thomas. Following the Monday night trade and recent moves, President Phil Jackson addressed the media to explain the direction of the franchise. We felt like we weren't competitive, we weren't playing with the kind of energy that we had to have, and uh, the necessity to move forward with our plans was uh, quite evident. We're stepping on, we've got some players that'll come in with 10-day contracts, we'll look at players in the process, we'll assess our talent that we have. We think we're moving forward in that regard. Tim Hardaway Jr. scored five in the first quarter to help the Knicks remain close early while the Hornets held a 21-18 advantage. The Hornets found their rhythm in the second quarter by scoring 41 points on 65% shooting from the floor. It was a tough afternoon for sure. Um, You know, the guys just couldn't, you know, sustain the energy after the first quarter. It was just out of gas. They had a 41-point second quarter, and it's tough tough to give any team like that especially on your home floor, and, and try and go out there and expect to win. Once again, Quincy AC was the leading scorer off the pine with 16 of his 18 in the fourth quarter. The Hornets topped the Knicks 110-82. It's always difficult when you're losing. Um, it's not a fun position to be in, but uh, I mean, we just got to figure out a way to, to try to keep getting better. For us, go to London with a mindset to win. Um, it's a business trip. It's not a vacation. Uh, for us, we got to go out there with that mindset and come back with a win.